Ghost Productions. Hey, yo, we back. What's good, everybody? It's your man Ghost back at it again. Much love and love to the homeboys. Yo, peep game, man. Yo, check this with your boy one time. So, Shit Craven, I think that's how you pronounce his name. So, a, a long time ago, I used to listen to this dude. I honestly have not kept up with his music, and I didn't know he was dropping stuff back to back. So one of the first songs I've heard, hmm, let's see if I can find it. Let's see here. So one of the first songs I've heard from him, I wonder if I could see it. It was a while ago, man. It was a while ago. Right here. Oh, you guys can't see it on there. It's called Locked and Loaded. It was about two years ago. And I haven't kept up with him. Yo, Lock and Loaded was pretty dope. I ain't gonna lie. He definitely gives me like a Juggalo kind of like Gotham, you know, Joker kind of vibe, you know, horrorcore type rap. But it's dope. I'm not gonna lie. It is something to witness. How about that? So Shit's Crazy Session 9 official music video just dropped. So let's get into this. These people always hitting me up on this phone at the wrong time. You know what I mean? So let's get into this, man. Let's see what my man's is talking about. Shit's crazy. Session nine. Let's see. This is Dr. Nick Forrest. Today's date is October 22nd, and we are continuing Evan's outpatient treatment following discharge. Hey, Evan. How are you? How's your week been lately? Tell me what is new. Fuck you. Okay, why? I don't really know, but I don't want to be here. I get Damn. He starts off with a hello, F you. So he's definitely got some counselor psych ward vibes going on. All right, let's get into it. I do like it. I would like the, I like the vibe of it. It fits his style, so I get it. Week been lately. Tell me what is new. Fuck you. Okay, why? I don't really know, but I don't want to be here. I get it, but to stay out of the ward, outpatient completion is needed, so let's make some effort. You really want to talk back? Okay. Education is an inconvenience, especially when already an evil genius. Yeah, I walk through life holding hands with demons. Every Whoa, okay. He's already dropping some bars. Education is an inconvenience. Education is an inconvenience. Actually, it might be. I know a lot of people that went to college that aren't even using degrees. They're degrees that they worked for. At this moment. So sometimes education is an inconvenience, but we still want our kids to go to college regardless. You know, if you can afford it, please do it. And if you can't go into a trade or go into a military, learn something, you know, as a man, be helpful, you know. So as a woman, just do what you got to do, man. You know what I mean? So I can understand education being an inconvenience. I've seen it firsthand. So. Especially when already an evil genius. Yeah, I walk through life holding hands with demons. Everyone I ever see, I want to stop from breathing. My room. God damn. Anybody, anybody he sees, he wants to stop breathing? Hands with demons. Everyone I ever see, I want to stop from breathing. My roommate prevented me from ever sleeping. He would snore all night. I would want crack pipe. Might as well, right? Because with all of his snoring and group early morning, I ain't sleeping anyways. Been out of the ward for a month. So I assumed I would start loving my life. I assumed I would stop cutting wrists with the knife. I assumed I would stop having terrors at night. Call it wishful thinking. Because all I want to do is increase the creeping. A blackout makes no... What does that even mean? Okay. So he's definitely, he's definitely a, for sure psycho in this. This music video. Having terrors at night, call it wishful thinking. Cause all I wanna do is increase the creeping. I black out, mixing all these pills with drinking. I overthink, plus my neighbors telling me my basement stinking. Evan, I know. I understand life since the word has been tough, but just think about all of the progress you've made. You used to cut every day, now it's once in a month. I would say that's a little success. Mm. But tell me, how are you dealing with stress? Are you taking the meds I prescribed? Wow. Or just self-medicating instead? Uh, well, Doc, kind of funny you asked. I'm high as fuck right now with a pill in my ass when I use like... I'm glad you asked. I'm high as fuck right now with a pill in my ass. All right. <laughs> That I get high real fast, so the longer it's in is the longer it lasts. What a blast, right? Forget it. I know they want to see me committed. Stop acting like I got a fucking best friend, Nick. When I thought I had a friend, I didn't. I just want to get throat slit. I just want to cough real nice. I want to dig all in the organs. Murder for me keeps me focused. Body parts sorted. Organization's important. Limbs in the bins I keep groping. Rubbing lotion. I got to Who? Bro, he's on some, like, Buffalo Bill, you know... 
Buffalo Bill. You know what Buffalo Bill is? Ed Gene kind of thing going on here. Sorted organizations important. But I'm not going to lie. It's a dope song. It's a dope song. You know what I mean? And limbs in the bins I keep groping, rubbing lotion. I got to throw the extras in the ocean. I'm a straight killer, I admit it. The Roger murders, I did it. I left the word violently. Then I took myself a long drive to come. Oh, see? That's the mask. That's that mask he was wearing in the Locked and Loaded. This right here. I think he was wearing that mask in the Locked and Loaded video from like two years ago. So is this his other persona? I gotta stay. I gotta stay. I gotta stay up to date with this dude. Let me know in the comments, man. If y'all really know Shit's Craven, I guess Craven, whatever his name is, yo, let me know what's going on with this mask because I've seen this mask two years ago. Then I took myself a long drive to commit a crime, you see A family made up of three I found them with ease, their bodies were mine to be I started off looking in windows, stalking at sights me I love invasion of privacy Yeah, Toya was combing her hair, I just started to stare I was trying to peek and see The titty she grew in a week, she was heading to college So I had to teach Mr. Roger would talk about his family Like you're doing with me every couple of meets You shouldn't though, you know I'm crazy, Nick Been thinking about your relationship A loyal wife that raised the kids their college pay what a way to live i know you have a daughter and son your daughter's off the call oh, see this he's switching he's switching the aspects to his counselor now or his therapist uh-oh but I, I don't know but man this is a weird scenario going on so session nine huh so i need to go back and see some of these sessions i've actually been failing on a person that loves this kind of music i like the story so let's keep it going man I bet that's fun. She's what, like 22? I bet you're hating how fast she grew. I bet you hate she has big boobs. I bet she's real good with the dudes. I bet she never pays for booze. I bet she's eating dick like food. Aw, oh no, what's the matter? Damn, he said your daughter is eating dick like food. Oof. Nick, you're looking like you just saw a ghost. Don't stress out now. You gotta keep your head afloat. Cause tonight I'll invade your home. You gotta save your own. Yeah, King's gotta keep his throne. You gon' learn there's no killing me. I'm on a killing spree. And Doc, you're the next to see my right night stands where you're. That's funny. That, that's a little weird. He's like, there's no killing me. I'm on a killing spree. Me, I'm on a killing spree. And Doc, you're the next to see my. So, you're the next to see, or am I. I'm um, ecstasy. Hold on, let me see. You're my ecstasy or my next to see? I'm on a killing spree, and Doc, you're the next to see my right night stand. Okay, yeah, you're the next to see. I thought he said, yo, Doc, you're my ecstasy. Like, you know how you get, like, really tempted, you know, the ecstasy vibes? Okay. Doc, you're the next to see my right night stands where your head will be. You bought a crib in the Hamptons, right? Only 20 minutes from the office? Hey, man, you're like this shit now. Wouldn't it suck if your spleen got ripped out? Damn, Nick, you're looking like you need a sig. Wow, take a sip of water and chill out. This is really dope. I'm sorry. This is really dope. This is definitely giving me like guilty conscience vibes from like M back in like 97, I want to say. So this is fire. I like this. Definitely like some DMX Damien. You know, if you don't know those songs, man, you got to go back. DMX Damien. You still got like seven more hours to live. You should really be spending this time with your kids. <laughs> Anyways, Doc. Are you happy we talked? Because of okay, that, okay, I that's enough. The statements you just made to me are very disturbing. I'm not sure if this is a way you express yourself as a release or if these threats are serious. But you know that I have to report any harmful threats, especially ones toward me and my family. If this is the case. Oh, look at, look at, look at, he switched. So is this his alter ego or something? Or like, I don't know. Let me know in the comments, man. Like, I, I really would like to know. So let me know. That our session today has come to an end. <sighs> no, Doc. Of course, these are just empty threats. My old psychiatrist, Dr. Roger, back in Wisconsin, told me that saying my urges out loud was a healthy way to manage them so I don't have to kill. But with him and his family being murdered just a few weeks ago, I'm feeling overwhelmed with emotion, which is essentially causing me to lash out verbally. But don't worry, Doc. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna hurt your family. And most importantly, I'm not gonna uh -huh, hurt you. Uh-huh, yeah. He got the fingers crossed. Okay, uh-huh. Why would you believe him? If he's a sadistic serial killer, you can't believe him, you know? We've all learned that from, uh, you know, Hannibal Lecter. And, you know, we've seen that. We've seen that in uh, movies where, you know, people go 
a little too crazy, regardless of how they are, you know. But hey, man, he's got his fingers crossed, bro. Don't believe him. For anyone else, I promise. Did you hear them too? Oh, so is this his album or something? He's got an album available to pre-order. Ooh, might have to add that to my collection. But yo, shit's craving. Session nine, definitely a masterpiece. I definitely liked it. You know what I mean? I like how he came in with the storytelling vibes with the lyrics and everything and painting the story. I liked it. Straight fire. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it. Shit crazy. Season nine. Yo, don't trust them killers, man. Especially them psych ward dudes. He got his finger crossed. Uh-uh. You don't never know what that dude's up to. But yeah, man. Shit craving. Love the video. Keep doing what you do. Man, I've been failing you, bro. I should have been keeping up with your music, man. That's on me. I'm definitely going to go back and I'm going to check some of your videos, man. But I love the directing. I love the video. I love the music. I love the energy. It seems like two years ago when I heard you last, you're still progressing. So keep it up, brother. But wait. Don't forget. Street Gems Podcast. Every Friday on Twitch. Videos will be uploaded on YouTube if you miss it. We got a Facebook. Come on, man. Support the movement. Please follow, share, like. Do what you need to do and interact with this video, and I'm going to interact with you. Y'all have a blessed night.